This looks into some of the treatments. It's obviously meant to be more of a dashboard slide rather than we're gonna go through it in detail. What I can say is, and I think Vlad, you'd agree, that the SSRIs have not been consistently no. you know, helpful here. No. And this is clearly a significant problem. If we were to do what's called the mediational analysis of all symptoms of depression, cognition and anhedonia contribute to almost two thirds of the overall impairment in function in people living with depression. So this is so critical, we talked about this. So this is just a sampling, glutamate, you see ketamine, of course, esketamine. You see some of the antipsychotics there, lumateperone, some data now, cariprazine, some data. Uh, now, you can see kappa opioid receptor antagonists, anti-inflammatories, 5-HT2A agonists like psilocybin. Wow, that's quite a list, and, and, and that's not even a, a full list. So there's been a lot of uh, interest in trying, in fact, to really uh, identify a viable, scalable, safe, tolerated, accessible, affordable treatment that can actually benefit this, this particular dimension. Um, and you, you may have seen that uh, certain monoamine modulating agents are going to be the highlight of treatment discussion. And also, there will be some discussion about anti-inflammatory, yep. non-pharmacologic agents, and especially second-generation antipsychotics uh, that have ability to modulate dopamine signaling bidirectionally. So uh, let us look at uh, first uh, agomelatine. Agomelatine mo uh, modulates uh, melatonin receptors, but it is a 2C antagonist. You've answered this question before. 2C antagonism <laughs> does what with dopamine, up or down? Dopamine up. Look at the comparison with venlafaxine. Venlafaxine 75, 150. Venlafaxine above 225 is noradrenergic in part. This dose is mostly serotoninergic. It does not help a whole lot with uh, improvement in, in anhedonia. On the other hand, agomelatine, presumably by boosting dopamine signaling, is quite a bit more effective in addressing anhedonia. Yeah. Mood and anxiety uh, questionnaire uh, looks at uh, bupropion versus placebo. Bupropion increases norepinephrine and dopamine signaling. Uh, its first metabolite, hydroxybupropion, even has more affinity uh, for a dopamine transporter, maybe a little bit more helpful in that respect. And we see that it relatively rapidly, but at higher doses, bupropion, because it's very modest in its do dopamine uptake, you really do need to go up above 300 to get anti effect, but it does deliver it. And what we can see is, in terms of this connectivity, we have seen inflammation disconnects. On the other hand, with the presence of bupropion, there is connectivity between prefrontal areas and nucleus accumbens. Dopamine helps.